Hi, it's Bridget, and welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Thanks so much for being here. This is my version of a podcast, I guess you could say. It's also an easy way to connect with you in audio format. Today, I would like to share with you the topic of waking up anxious, or I want to talk about dealing with anxiety when... Yeah, that doesn't even sound pretty, does it? Anxiety, anxiety. It sounds just mean. It sounds like a mean girl telling you that you suck. Anxiety, anxiety. Oh, there's something wrong with you. You're such a problem. No, no, no. Let's reframe this. Waking up anxious. Let's talk about that. It's a reality. It's a reality for me. And especially during these unique times and the uncertainty and the unknown, I definitely myself wake up often anxious. And what that means is in the heart, like my heart feels kind of tight and busy. Like I wake up feeling like I need to be doing something. The second I am conscious that I am awake, I feel like I have to be doing things. Like my heart is already busy and acting and my body isn't even barely awake yet. (laughs) So clearly my brain is not going to make good, positive, healthy decisions and action that is productive when I'm in this state. I literally can feel my heart not feeling comfortable. It, It beats fast and it feels rushed. There's that feeling like that. And that happens to me sometimes. And it's happened to me a lot recently. And maybe you can relate to that It's it is a form of anxiety, yes, but it's also indicative of the stressful times and how stress affects and impacts our body. And I know that so often it's like, oh, get a good night's sleep, and when you wake up, it'll be a new day. Well, it is a new day, but the energy and the heart space and the intensity of feeling and the need to want to be contributing, to be productive, to be helpful is very strong in many, many of us. And it's not just that you're an empath. It's not just that you're a sensitive person. It's just that there's a lot of activity energetically in the world that we're taking on from our loved ones, from the relationships that we're in, from the expectations of our work environments, of schooling, of all sorts of things that are added pressures that can compound. So I want to give you a sense of what I do to help manage some of this waking up anxious. When I wake up anxious, what do I do? Especially when I'm looking like right now. So obviously I woke up about an hour ago. It might not sound like it. (laughs) I'm trying to be a little quiet because my house is not totally awake yet, but I've been just sitting in bed. I haven't got out of bed yet. Because when I woke up and I felt that anxiousness in my heart, that need for instant action movement, but my body was like, yeah, no, that's not really the truth. (laughs) That's not what we need right now. It's almost like a state of flight, you know, running away. And it feels like it's in the heart, you know, it's the feeling, the sensory center. So... I keep a notebook by my bed. Actually, I keep multiple notebooks. I keep some, you know, cheesy $1 composition notebooks, the wide-ruled kind, because I like to write big sometimes. Next to my bed, I have one of those. And then I also have a beautiful journal with a gorgeous graphic on it, a lined, lined paper. And it's just, the graphic is like, a beautiful goddess-like energy with butterflies and vibrant colors of navy blues and greens and rich reds and rust color and a light turquoise green and some golds and just a very flowing energy with feathers and it's just streams of light. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous. This is like one of my most favorite journals. It's so pretty. It's about halfway used, actually. I'm looking at it now, but... And I have pens that I stick inside my journal. So I always have a pen handy. And I have these by my bedside. And so oftentimes I will write. I will write to clear my mind. I will write to allow the emotions or the feeling to be recognized and honored and acknowledged. And instead of judging, which the mind really will do often, like, what's wrong with me? Why am I waking up stressed? Because that's how it feels. 
waking up stressed. And yet my mind really doesn't really have any thoughts about it. I just am noticing the feeling. But give it some time. After a couple minutes, the thoughts will certainly start to rise to meet the challenge and share in with the stressful energy. (laughs) And so in an effort to curb that and channel the flow of the stress energy or the energy that I wake up feeling, I will grab my journal and release the energy of the emotion. And just writing about it allows it to be less intense. And it usually does feel a lot better. It doesn't fully go away because it's part of who I am as sensory processing of information energetically in the heart space. But my feeling of the stressful part of it does subside. And so writing seems to help that. Again, writing the journaling is not to fix a problem. It's not to fix anything. It's simply to allow an outlet for connection with that feeling that I have in my heart space, that anxiousness, that feeling. And I don't, I mean, I can ask it like, where is this coming from or that kind of a thing and diagnose it if I want to. But to be honest, in like the wee hours of the morning, that is not what I, that's not where I'm going with my anxious connection to energy. I am asking, how do you feel? How are you feeling? And oftentimes I'll describe the actual physical feeling in my body. And just acknowledging that allows it to expand and open up. And sometimes that's just enough. And then if I don't feel like, if it's like early and I don't feel like journaling or writing, because I don't always feel like doing that. That's why you have many tools, not just one. And you use different tools on different days, my friends. That's the thing. You use different tools on different days. It depends on how you feel, right? So one of my absolute 100% go-tos is to listen to an odd aud- listen to an audio and so i have a playlist set for audios that something that actually helps me really focus on positive thoughts positive feelings it just feels really good the energy of the communication feels really good to me and so for you it might be something different than what i'm going to say that i listen to but the point is to listen to something that's an input that provides a flow of energy when you're listening to it that gives your heart, your anxious energy, the stress center energy, that pent up tightness, an opportunity to flow. You need an input that is going to help flow because what you want is the the energy in that space in your body where you're feeling that stress, that pressure, that anxiety, that restlessness, whatever it feels like, wherever you're feeling that. Like for me, it's my heart. I keep touching my heart as I'm talking to you. And for you, it probably will be too. It'll be very commonly in the heart. I mean, that just makes sense. That's just, oh, that's where the house of anxiety, it lives, okay? That's the room, the room, right? The teenage room over there, it says anxiety on it. Bam, slam the door. Yeah, stress next door. Bam, slam the door. Yeah, like that. But What you want for an input is an energy flow that allows those rooms of that house, of that heart, to be able to open up to flow with it, to flow with it. You don't have to think about it. You just allow it to flow with it. It's not overpowering it. It's not taking over it. It could be perceived as a distraction, which isn't bad. That's not bad. You remember, it's the first thing in the morning and you want to allow for flow so that you can open up to your day. You want your day to be open and you want to be able to choose your day. You don't want to wake up with a pressure. You don't need that. You need a flow, right? So the input that I use all the time is my playlist for Abraham Hicks. I listen to Esther Hicks Um, channeling, doing rampages, nothing with commercials in it, like on YouTube. Um, I I create a playlist actually on YouTube that doesn't have like commercials or ads or anything. And I pick some things that are um, just what's considered a rampage that she does. And it And then my list just flows from one into another into another until I feel like, okay, I feel, I feel pretty decent right now. And at the very least, I don't feel like I did. I don't feel that pressure, that stressor anymore. And it kind of feels like you almost have a chest cold a little bit. That's kind of how it feels. 
a chest cold, you know, a little bit of a chest cold or allergies when the stuff settles in your chest. It feels a little bit like that. And I know it's hard because I actually do have allergies right now too. <laughs> the joys of being in Minnesota in the spring, but you know what? I do appreciate the spring, so I'm gonna gonna give some gratitude to that. But so I listen to something. I listen to something. For you, it could be music. It could be Native American drumming or flute music. It could be a really cool abstract. Um, orchestral arrangement or something or maybe what you do in the morning then when you're feeling like that is you lean over and you hit that button on that iPhone and you play that playlist that is the spa music you know the one hour or three hour spa music or whatever it is like the kind of stuff that you would hear if you were getting a massage or if you were in a fancy salon or spa and you have that set. And maybe it's like ocean waves. Maybe it's waterfall. Maybe it's, you know, uh, the rainforest sounds or tropical sounds or something like that. Whatever it is for you, you just reach over, you push that and then let that flow energy move the stress energy the anxious energy right out just let it move it's about it's not about necessarily making it go away get it out of there fixing it it's not about that that's not it's not like you're pest control okay this is a natural part of who you are and it's just being overworked right now it's like muscles that you've exercised too much and they're sore that's all anxious energy is that's all stressor energy is is overworked care overworked energy of, of, of really over caring. And it's not anything wrong with you. It's just that you're using a skill so much that it is sore. It is sore, sore, sore. And it needs some tenderness. It needs some understanding and kindness. And that's all it needs. So let's repeat positive inputs, auditory input. And then also journaling or writing. Try that. Two other things I'm going to mention. One is obviously meditation. However, I find when I am very anxious, I can't actually meditate. But guess what? No worries. I listen to Deepak Chopra. I like the mantra style meditation. And if I can't like get into the zone for meditation, I just listen to the music and I repeat the mantra. That's all I do. And I do not judge myself. That's the important thing. In meditation, it's not a contest, Okay. And you don't always get into the deep states of connection, but that's not what you need when you wake up in the morning and you're feeling anxious or stressed. You don't need deep states of intense peace. You just want some relief, okay? You just need some relief, relief, relief. So if you just do the meditation and just repeat the mantra for 10 minutes, you're good, okay? That's it. You did it. You tried Good. Next, move on to the next thing. If you still don't feel good, then you go to one of these other things. You try something different. Okay. So meditation is very helpful. Also tapping. I will literally, I am like tired and barely awake and I will lay in my bed and I will tap. Tapping is EFT, emotional freedom technique. There are a ton of resources online about this. Free tapping resources. I have some on Fairy Grasshopper channel for you. Again, it's tapping EFT, emotional freedom technique. I love it when I'm very anxious and I can't sit still or when I'm restless or when I don't feel like I can meditate and I'm frustrated with meditation. <laughs> tapping works almost every single darn time for me because it is like motion it's, it's better than meditation because it's movement. You're moving your body at the same time. You're freeing your energy flow. It's about energy flow. It's about releasing points of energy that feel stuck. It's about letting your mind be part of the process. And there are so many resources online, thetappingsolution.com. Brad Yates, Y-A-T-E-S. Brad Yates is a great, I think, a great tapper facilitator on YouTube. So there's a lot of resources for you in that regard. So just again, you have to have a playlist set so that when you wake up and you feel like that, you can just reach it right away and push that play button and just listen and do the tapping. And that's what it takes. Okay. So there you go. So yeah, and sometimes it takes a while. And luckily, I've had the luxury of time this morning. It's a weekend. 
And I have been in bed for about an hour doing these things. And I thought I should record some of this for you for Sunday morning coffee to be able to give you some tips about, you know, with the anxiety or stress or feeling pressure, that kind of a thing, especially when you wake up in the morning, I, it just can really set your day in a way that I want, I want to make sure that you can be empowered and have choice. And I want to share with you the things that work for me so you can try them for yourself. So tapping EFT, meditation, and the mantra style specifically, I find that works better when I'm more anxious or when I feel that kind of pressure and journaling always a go-to. I have journals all over my house. I use them all the time when I'm stressed out, when I have a exchange with someone that it feels particularly stressful, or when I want to learn something or process something, I use writing for everything. It works great, 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 great. And then also the uh, auditory inputs that are positive, like the spa music, the drumming music, the flute music, or positive inputs like for me, Esther Hicks. Oh my gosh, I listen to those Rampages by Abraham Hicks, and I am just okay then. I'm like, all right, I'm good. I got some positive inputs here. Um, so Thank you so much for listening. I hope this helps inspire you to recognize that even if you feel stress or pressure, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just the cue for you to really start your day in choice, in power, by, by taking extra care of yourself, by setting yourself up for success, by connecting to your natural flow, for allowing the energy that is in that heart space, settled in there in the form of anxiety or unsettledness or worry, you allow, give it a place to flow, give that energy something to do. You've got to give the energy something to do. That's how you work with it. That's how you manage that flow state. So this is Bridget. I hope you have a good day and many good mornings to come if you utilize some of these tools. Thank you so much for being part of the journey. I hope that I've inspired your spirit a bit today and filled your cup with hope. Thanks for listening.